In this video, I'm going to take you through the Decentralized Exchange Aggregator, 1inch. I really hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. 1inch is a DEX aggregator with the best prices on the market and single point of entry for DeFi. They're able to offer cheap trades and low slippages across nearly every kind of ERC20 tokens. And they do this by splitting orders amongst multiple DEXs in a single transaction, with burning gas tokens to reduce gas costs by half. So instead of searching around for various exchanges for the best rates, 1inch collates all of this data for you making sure that you're getting the best price. And One Inch was created during the ETH New York Hackathon in June of 2019. Both co-founders are veteran software engineers with 30 years of combined experience. And the company has most recently secured $2.8 million funding from top investors with exciting plans to bring out their own governance token soon. The exchange itself is non-custodial with all trades being performed within a single transaction from a user's Ethereum wallet. So what are the benefits? Well, it reduces liquidity issues. Liquidity is a big problem on decentralized exchanges. Not only is liquidity low on DEXs in general, but it also split across several different DEXs, making large volume trades susceptible to significant slippage, resulting in bad pricing or failed trades. And one inch solves all of this by splitting orders across exchanges, yet keeping the trade within one transaction for the user. One inch shows exactly what each exchange offers in an easy to view way. The price and liquidity available from each platform are clearly displayed to the user, along with the gas fees. This saves the user both time and clicks, avoiding the need to open multiple exchanges and assess the order books. So how does it reduce gas costs? Well, as you're most likely aware by now, Every transaction on the Ethereum network requires a processing fee called gas. And these fees can fluctuate with network usage, often getting really expensive when the network is running close to maximum capacity. And one inch saves on transaction costs by around 40% by utilizing the Qi gas token, which is a token which stabilizes the price of gas, similar to how a stablecoin works. To get started with one inch, first you'll need to visit their site. And I'll pop a link in the summary below, which is a referral link, but won't cost you anything to use. But if you'd like to use it, then I'd really appreciate it. And you can connect your Ethereum wallet by clicking onto the Connect Wallet icon in the top right-hand side of the screen. And that's beside the ability to change from dark to light mode. So let's go ahead and connect our wallet. And the first thing you'll need to do is accept the Terms of Service Legal Disclosure and Privacy Policy, which you'll want to check out and tick. Then you can connect to the most popular wallets, such as the likes of Metamask or Ledger Hardware Wallet, plus you can also open in the Trust Wallet too. So with your wallet connected, you can then go ahead and start playing with some of the settings on the system, which you can do by clicking onto the cog icon in the top left hand side of your screen here. Then in here, you can edit the amount of slippage. So you can change that from 1% to 0 0.1, 0 0.5 or 3 or you can put in a custom amount in here. You can also edit the default gas fees too, by changing that from fast, standard, or instant. The other options available at the top of your screen here is to add a custom token, which you can add by address, or you can enable or disable whether the price shown includes the transaction costs or not, which you'll see at the bottom here. There's also some charting that you can view which will show you the rate and the volume, and you can refresh the prices at any time too. Now, one of the great things about One Inch is that you can swap from so many different types of ERC20 tokens, and that's because it's split between a multitude of different types of DEXs. Now, if we just type in an amount into here, it will show us the maximum amount that we have available within our connected wallet. And once we enter in that amount too, It'll also do the conversion of your chosen asset and pre-populate in this section here. 
and depending on the assets that you've chosen at the top, it will then show you all the available DEXs. And you can decide which DEXs you'd like to your order split across, if need be, by simply switching these on or off. Then at the bottom, it will show you all the exchanges where you can achieve the best prices. And it will show your transaction costs in here too, and the difference between the different exchanges. Now, as I was mentioning earlier, you can also save yourself on fees by enabling the Cheat Gas token. Now, just take a look at their blog here. The Cheat Gas token is an ERC20 standard token that is meant to be used on one inch exchange to pay for transaction costs. The idea is similar to the Gas Token token concept, but it has some improvements. Qi is paid to the Ethereum network's gas price. When the gas price is low, the Qi price is also low, and the opposite. Just like the gas token, Qi is tokenized gas on the Ethereum network. The only difference is that Qi is used on one inch and curve, while the gas token is used across the entire Ethereum network. And if you want to find out more about reducing your gas fees, then it's worth checking out their blogs, which are available on their website. But let's go through a simple swap now. So I've got some wrapped ETH. So if I select that from the From dropdown, and I'd like to convert that to Ethereum. It will show me my maximum amount that I have available, and I'll be converting all 14 and a half now. And as you can see, that will all be completed using the WETH DEX. Now, before we go ahead with our trade, you'll see that there's two different types of unlocks that we can choose from. Now, most decentralized applications or dApps ask users to allow the app to interact with their wallet. Because one inch is a non-custodial application, it means that it never holds your funds and must continuously interact with various crypto wallets. Once unlocked, trading activity can continue to occur without further interaction, and this saves in gas fees each time the application calls to verify an unlock. For power users who interact with DeFi protocols, this can ultimately save them a lot of money. One inch calls this type of unlock an infinity unlock and saves from unlocking transactions one at a time. The other type of unlock is slightly more expensive as users need to pay gas for each unlock call. That being said, it is more secure as users aren't linked to the protocol should it be compromised. So I'm gonna go ahead with the infinity unlock and approving that will cost me some gas for the first time. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my swap now and I'll need to verify this, and you can always edit the gas in here and use that in conjunction with ETH gas station. And as you can see, that swap's now gone through. Although I did have a small issue when actually interacting with my wallet. Now sometimes one inch root swaps between more than one platform, and this is called a split trade. For example, if I had the one up token, and I wanted to swap that for DAI. As you can see here, it's then spread across two different types of DEXs. With a small amount happening across on Uniswap at 9%, with the majority happening on Pathfinder at 91%. And these percentages do change a lot, depending on the changing rates on each platform. Now let's take a look at limit orders at the top here. So within a limit order, you can define the price that you'd like to pay. And as it states here, no transaction needed to create a limit order and there's no maker fees. So you can select from a maker asset on the left hand side of the screen here and convert that into a taker asset. And for this trade, you can define the price that you'd like to pay as well as the duration you'd like the trade open for. Then we have the earn tab. So in earn, you can earn interest by providing liquidity or lending on different DeFi projects. And from this screen, you can add new liquidity pools or you can filter by a specific token. So for example, let's type in SNX, which is the synthetics token. And it will then show you the pools available based on the most popular, which is ordered by liquidity. And you can filter by the different types of providers here, which I've covered in full tutorials. So in case you want to find out more about these, then please feel free to look through the series of my videos and it will show you the calculated income for a day, a week, and a month as a percentage. And from here, you can simply click onto the plus icon to add liquidity. 
Now, similar to the likes of Zapper FI, you can provide liquidity without holding the required token, as they will swap your tokens for you all within one inch. So from the drop-down here, you can choose your token and it will perform the swap for you. So this will save you from having to convert your tokens first before providing liquidity to save you on some of those gas fees. Plus under that Buy ETH tab, they've also integrated with MoonPay so that if you haven't already got any ETH to get started with, you can purchase some from here. So that concludes my run through of One Inch Exchange. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.